Um, yeah, so there's, yeah, uh, the, there's a few things that I wanted to ask. Like the first was like how to build a um, funnel with Kartra. Yeah. And then also um, basically like how to get very familiar with the policies of Facebook ads. Cause I yeah. had um, two ads, three ads rejected. Um, what type of client? On, so there's two, one was a real estate, uh, it was uh, pictures photography mm -hmm. trying to get clients for photography for real estate agents okay. so i guess on the description on the on the text the headline i put um you need pictures for your real estate um mm -hmm. mm -hmm. or something like that mm -hmm. and that keyword obviously targeted me bad so i had to rewrite it and i just put need pictures for your next deal and it's been running perfectly uh the second one is for disinfecting so um so i guess right now they're super iffy on disinfecting lotions and hand sanitizer all yeah, that yeah nonsense. yeah so that one's the one that um I, I i i made one with the word disinfecting i noticed it wasn't working mm -hmm. so i turned it off like um like they turned it off so then i changed the wording but i still was promoting the same product mm -hmm. and then ended up disactivating the account because of that um so I was facebook, upset about facebook deactivated it mm-hmm so they so they just close they just freaking blocked your account yeah locked the account the good thing well no not the good thing. yeah they locked the account bro so so yeah so the good thing i'm still using my ad account to get the likes up for the page specifically itself yeah yeah but yeah they, they locked it which is annoying <laughs> now yeah, i have to read over that that's crazy bro mm -hmm. yeah wow. they've been they've been doing it a lot lately because yeah, they, man. they said yep do like manual bots or something so it's expected um and everyone in Billie Jean, like in the private community they're yeah. all like ranting about that so but yeah, yeah so that's why i was upset and then that's when i reached out to you i'm like before i get another ad account disactivated like activate yeah. you know let me just reach oh, to shit, uh man. because that was a big thing um and well, then when, also mm -hmm. when, when it comes to the photography one did you did you um change the special ad category to housing um so i didn't no, i didn't choose that because um well i didn't think i needed it because it yeah. was just going to be targeting like realtors so um yeah. that so basically uh, mm -hmm. that's probably why that's that's that if there's real estate related anything real estate related in it it, it should have it should you should have turned on the the um it's on the first the first one page like add yeah the first page but um it should be right here all right yeah that's um, the category yeah okay and i didn't turn that on so but then now i'm still targeting oh this is the like app sorry um because I, I redid it again mm -hmm. targeting um retargeting the brokers and agents yeah so yeah. Mm -hmm. i was still doing and it hasn't been disactivated and it was san diego um agent broker broker realtor mm -hmm. um it was like a carousel so um, yeah, this one has is still being active now. If I put the housing, um, so it's like three three images or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, the ad itself. Now, if I um, if I put the special category, can I write it like the way I did in the win? Like, hey, do you need pictures for your real estate or something like that? Or, yeah, yeah, for sure. But this one was approved, and it's not, and it's not special housing, or it's not housing. Exactly, this one was approved, and it's okay. not. Um, okay. so the, the big thing was just the key, the, the wording on it. Um, that was the only thing that I changed and it actually worked. So it was gotcha. the same okay. images. Um, just when I put right here, need photos for your ne uh, next deal. I had, um, do you need photos for your, uh, for your next real estate listing? Mm -hmm. Um, and then right away they put it down. Gotcha. So I guess, okay. I Choose this special, but I didn't want to play yeah. with it anymore because I don't want to get this account disact um, disactivated because this is my main account for yeah yeah for this. So um, that was the, the first thing I was like, man, I need to become very familiar, like for the hand sanitizer and stuff like that, because the hand sanitizer for the company that I work with, like, it's legit. It's not like it's just like the company's yeah. been in business for a long time. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, why doesn't Facebook look at the business license and things like that and approve things that are actually have been approved? You know? Yeah. Um, yeah but unfortunately they did that um they, are you running that out of out of their ad account or your your ad account i um so i that ad i was running it from theirs from theirs uh, okay yes yeah, so from theirs but then now 
um, since that account got deactivated, I had it come to mine and I'm running the like from mine. Mm -hmm. So right now this one will say actually a copy. So I think that's why it's three. Um, cause yeah, it was, I'd shut that one off actually, bro. And do it again. This, is, this was the original one and I just like duplicated it and to see the results. And I was just yeah. like, even two cents was for me was okay. Yeah. Two's okay. When I, ran, when I ran it to, um, to the U S um, it was a dollar per like, which oh, is yeah, ridiculous. You, yeah. You don't want to do that. <laughs> and, and what I tell people, what I tell clients all the time, I say, I say your leads are not going to come from likes. Like that's not where the leads are going to come from. What, right. what, what we get out of a high like count is credibility. We get social proof. We get perception. Right. When people land there and they see a high like number, you automatically have their attention versus the low like number that you have now. So this is going to be a one-time mm -hmm. ad. It's not an ad we're going to run all the time. Um, just put whatever budget you want and, and, and we'll run it. And that's how all I right. explain it. And, and, that, and that's why I call it step two. When we go to step three and we start running lead capture ads, that's mm -hmm. how you're going to capture leads. Right. So, so even with your like count right now, I tell them, I say, hey, man, you got 600 likes right now and you've been clicking invite. You haven't run a like ad. You got 600. Here's the problem with your 600. First of all, Facebook only shows your post. So as you go and post on your Facebook business page organically, Facebook only shows your post to 1% of that like count. So right, right now, John, your 650 likes, as I scroll through your page and look through all your recent posts, no wonder why no one likes it. No wonder why you have no engagement. <laughs> right. No wonder why none of these posts are even being seen. Facebook only shows it to 1% of your 650. That's number one. But right. number two, what's even worse, if you're a local business owner, you've been clicking invite to the, to the 3,700 friends that you have on your personal Facebook page. These 3,700 friends live across the country. Right. So as you post your local business on your Facebook business page, the 1% that are actually seeing it, they don't even care because they don't even live in the area. So, so stop getting hung up with these likes need to be local. No, they don't. These likes don't even need to be nationwide. These likes, we're going to run it to everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of cleaning or fits the interest of real estate. That's how I tell it to them. I don't, I don't say we're going to run worldwide. I'm going to target worldwide. No, I don't say that. I say we're going to run to everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of home ownership. Gotcha. And then for the, cause that, that I didn't do it. Do you put an interest to it then? That makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Yeah. The interest is one interest. It's one keyword. And let me, let's go back to your ad sets real quick. Pull up, pull up any, any, any active ad. And then let me look at the ad sets. So check the box. Yeah. Just click, click on anyone. Not the, not the likes, anyone? not the likes. Let's look at, do you have a different, yeah, that one, that one. Let's look at that one real quick. The edit. Yeah. Click on edit. So here's what you want to do over here is, you have, you have $25 lifetime and then you're targeting, look at the interest, go down the targeting. You have, yeah. you, you're targeting, you're targeting these three different, right? You're targeting, you're targeting mm -hmm. uh, job title, job title, job title, realtor, real estate broker, real estate agent slash broker. Here's what you have to do on this one. So let's say for example, your $25 lifetime budget, how many days are you, is your lifetime? How many days? So 30 until from, it's, it's lifetime 35. Okay. So lifetime 35 and you're doing that for 30 days. That ain't mm -hmm. shit. Mm -hmm. If anything, you're going to have to do that for, 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 for 10 days. Like 10 not, days. not 35 for 30 days. That's not a budget at all. That's not enough at yeah, all. At I, all. Didn't, I didn't think I put like a, like a, when it ends, I just put the lifetime. So that way it spends it as it needs to. Well, That's it, 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 right. there is an end. So it's, it's going off of a 30 day period from 11 to 11. Makes sense. So, so, so yeah, so don't, don't, um, yeah, you want to, you want to have a higher budget. You want to have a higher, at least, at least five bucks a day. So if you went five bucks a day for 30, that's 150 lifetime. Right. Right. So, right. but, but so, so looking at that calendar, yeah, that's, a, that, that's the reason why not a lot of activities probably happen with this ad because you're only spending, what is that freaking a dollar a day. Yeah. A dollar a day. Yeah, bro. So that ain't shit. Right. So it's like, so that, that's problem number one. And then problem number two is 
you have three different targeting. Right. What you want to do is you want to have one in each ad set. So you want to do one real estate agent slash broker, duplicate the ad set and do a second right. ad set, job title, real estate broker, and then duplicate it and do another ad set of job mm -hmm. titles, realtor. But then that would be like $15 a day, right? That'd be 15 a day. Um, okay. But, but, but you're only running it for three days, bro. You're only running it for three days to see which the same one. Thing, just less than the days. What's that? It's the same thing, like the same lifetime, but just in a shorter uh, amount of days. Well, right? to tell you the truth, you're not even going to do lifetime anymore. You're not going to do lifetime. You're going to just do daily budget and you're going to start off at okay. five bucks a day and you're going to do three okay. different ad sets. Each one has its own targeting, but mm -hmm. you're only going to run it for three days, three full days, okay. three three complete right. days and then and then and then after the end of that third day then you come and look at your metrics and you see which one out of the three is the winner mm -hmm. and then you shut off the other Got two it. okay that's multiple ad sets so yeah so i, I did that for uh, uh, e-commerce when i was running on uh, shopify mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i kind of a little familiar with what you're talking about mm -hmm. yeah i can i can walk you through that we'll do that on, on another call but that that's multiple yeah. ad sets that's how you want to do this for sure is you and, and, and you want to have you you want to have yeah all you do is just simply check the box right there like you like you have it and then duplicate yeah, yeah and duplicate then I do it twice, right? and then change the thing do do yeah, do one at a time. Do do one at a time. So you'll duplicate and then just do one, and then and then you'll duplicate it again and then do one, and then duplicate it again. What you want to to to? I mean, there's really no there's really no no limit, but but as far right. as your budget, if you do have a budget, then yeah, we got to kind of you know look at it. But but you want to have a minimum a minimum of four different ad sets. Got it. Like I follow people like one, one, one guy that I'm, that I'm learning Facebook ads from, he'll run 60 at a time, but this guy has a budget, yeah. right? Like little guys <laughs> like us, yeah. like I ain't running 60 at a time. You know <laughs> what I mean? But, but another mentor of mine, he just does four at a time. He'll just do four at a time. And, 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 so and nice. that's what you want to do. And then, and then, and then, so this one right here will be broker slash agents. The, the title of the mm -hmm. other one where it says copy, the title of that right. one will be, Realtors. Realtors, the title exactly. of the other one. Would, so you want to be very specific on your titling right here. Yeah. Right. So, so, so you have already one of them under broker slash agent. And then, and then just oh, all you're going to do is you're going to go and edit. You're going to go into it and all you're changing is the targeting. That's all you're changing. Exactly. You're changing the title to what the targeting is. Exactly. I got you. And then for when it comes to the image, like if, if I'm running it for a realtor a, um, agent and I'm trying to get um, him like more likes, is it, is it just going to be his image, uh, well, his image? No, no. Good question. No. Um, when it comes to the like ad, what I do is I'll just go to Google and I'll always mm -hmm. type in luxury homes in that city. And okay. I'm looking for a badass image. I'm looking for a, 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 I'm looking for a mansion. I'm looking for a luxury ass home. So if you're in Texas, you. if you're in Florida, I'll go, I'll go luxury homes in Florida and I'll pull the most clearest looking picture of a, of a right. beautiful home. So it's very general. It's not, it's not a headshot of them. It's not a picture of their listing. It's a beautiful right. ass home that anybody, when anybody looks at that shit, they're like, holy crap, that shit's freaking nice. Right. So, and then, and then, and then I go to Canva and I, and I size it. Okay. And the size, the size that I've always used for a like ad is, a, is 1000 by 667. And you can and go to Canva. And then you do the automatic thing, right? I heard from you. What's that? You do the automatic placement, like you don't for change everything. it anymore. Don't change it right. anymore. Yeah, for everything. Automatic placement for everything. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, I was looking at your video and then you said that. So I was like, okay. Because I leave yeah. it automatic too. And But some people say, no, you got to pick this one. Only yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's like, that, that, that's the old school way. Some people, some people still do it that way, but not even like mentors that I follow, like same caliber as the ones that you're following, Billy Jean and freaking these guys. Like, like I follow the same guys at, at that caliber. And, right. and and these guys are, are, are they're all automatic placement. Like no one's no one's clicking edit no more.
because Facebook is already smart enough. Like the machine, it's a freaking machine. Like let them, right. let them allocate those funds. This to is where the, the, you know, this is where I had the, like you said, when you do the hacking, <laughs> awesome, you know, nice. I had man. it right here. Like every time Hell I find yeah. like a bunch of money ads and stuff, I'm like, all right, I'm just going to let you waste your money and then learn, learn and make it better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah man so so over here and and then what what campaign objective are you are you using on on the um or not or the, the like this one was messages was messages the like up it gotcha. was just uh like okay so you're likes. doing messages okay okay yeah because i was gonna do lead lead capture um for, lead generation for, yeah lead generation mm -hmm. um and then because they don't I, I believe they don't have a website yet yeah, so yeah. i was just doing messages directly to facebook or lead generation that's what what, what I would do, though. if they don't have a lead capture page, which most of them don't at all, then then I would just I would just use lead generation, like capture leads for them, capture leads, not messages, mm -hmm. capture leads for them, okay. and 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 that's that's lead generation. Now, do you recommend me using my Kartra for them, like building a page for them, and then you? <laughs> yeah, bro, hell yeah, like I would, and because here's how I sell it to them. The way I sell it to them is I say, okay, cool, for the first thirty days. I'm going to create this, this page for you. I'm going to create the landing page. I'm going to create the thank you page. I'm going to capture these leads using this funnel. And, 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 right. and, and we're going to run for the next 30 days. I don't want you month to month. I don't want you to sign a contract. We're not, we're not going to get married just yet. Let's do a 30, 30 day run. Let's put some money towards this and let's start capturing some leads. And what ends up happening is after 30 days, once we capture leads, then I'll introduce them to Kartra. And I'll say, hey, man, here's okay. the funnel that I used. What I can easily do is transfer it to your, your account, but I'm going to need you to set up right. your own account. And at that point, okay. if they already have a ton of leads, they're going to be fired up. They're not going to care about spending $99 a month because they know it worked. And, and right. especially if I created the funnel and already have it all done for them. Yeah, I seen that. I seen that you have and, your funnels too. That's yeah, crazy. like I'll, I'll even have an open house funnel for them, a buyer list funnel, a, a a a listing funnel, a seller guide funnel, a buyer guide funnel. I have all these damn funnels ready for them. So when they start their fourteen day trial, I'll transfer everything to their account, and they're like, "Holy shit, that was totally worth it!" Right? So they're right, fired up. That. Right. Yeah, that's what that. you want to do for sure. Okay. So yeah, well, that explains a lot when it comes to the um, to the ads, because that was my biggest thing. Like um, now that you when you told me to change a little bit of niche, you know, have focusing on people that have cash flow, daily cash flow based rather than the other ones. Yeah. So my other niche that I was actually looking to was the dentist. Yeah. So, right. but I'm always concerned about like actually given the results that I know Facebook could bring. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where the optimizing Facebook ads will come into play, you know? Um, yes, bro. Mul multiple that. ad sets is, is what you have to be doing. Um, and, 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 and lead generation. Yeah. That's when you don't have a landing page, but you need a landing page because what you want to start running are conversions. You want to start running right. conversion ads right. and that's when you need a landing page. That's when you can capture that lead. That's when that lead is automatically in your email autoresponder and everything just flows. Everything just flows more consistently as far as not having to micromanage anything when you're running it to a landing page, especially when you're running it to a landing page that is already integrated with an email autoresponder, that's powerful. But when you're yeah, running lead generation, and then now we got to connect Zapier to have it transferred to MailChimp, which is a mm. completely different platform. That's when it's like too many damn softwares are involved now. Like I just want one damn software. I don't want to micromanage shit. Like I want you to click on learn more. I want you to go to my page. I want you to enter, I want you to enter your name and email. And then, and then my email sequence begins. You'll start receiving Maybe. emails from me. Like I want it to be just, yeah. just automated. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, and without that's, having to that's connect multiple softwares. With, exactly with Kartra. Cause I know how you have it, you know, your funnel and then automatically puts you into a sequence and then automatically yeah. start receiving. So I was just, I wanted to do that for a client and then just sign up once and then I set you up and then you start receiving all the training that you need. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Like yeah. a monthly retainer a monthly retainer the other yeah. issue i had was with my calendars mm -hmm. um basically when it comes to oh sorry my calendars just real quick real time, quick real, real quick uh -huh. let's, what else yeah. on the facebook ad side before we jump into this part anything else on the facebook ad side on the facebook so it was just the the ads right um obviously now ad sets the daily budget you changed it um images 
Oh, snaps. I think that was it. Obviously, disactivating an account is a whole different thing um, when they disactivated it. And the like ad. I think Are you creating it. custom audiences? Um, I am. I haven't with this one. I haven't created any custom audiences. And I do need help with that um, in the future because um, I think for this one, can't remember if I did create anything. Um, yeah, so think custom conversions. So yeah, so I think I think I had um, I created some, but I, I haven't done much. Okay, of we them. need to go over. This is your custom conversion right here, and this is where uh -huh. your 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 landing pages and your thank you pages are are necessary. Custom conversions. Right. That's when you mm -hmm. run conversion ads. But yeah, that, okay. that's one thing that I teach on. And then, and then the audiences are another thing. Those audiences, custom audiences, I truly believe are the reason, the reasons why most people do not succeed, succeed with Facebook ads. Why 99% right. of people do not succeed with Facebook ads. Two reasons. Reason number one, they're not, they're not consistent with their ads. They'll run an ad here right. and there. That's reason number one. They're, they're, they lack the consistency of running the ad, of running any ads. And then number two, they don't create custom audiences. Right. So the custom audiences are the most important, bro. Like the most important because all the money, your ROI on Facebook ads comes from retargeting custom audiences. They don't right. come from, from, the, from the initial ad. So mm -hmm. from that first ad that you're running right now for the real estate broker, for example, your ROI right. is not going to come from that, that one ad. Your ROI is going to come from retargeting all the people who are engaging, which are AKA your custom audiences. So right. I'm creating custom audiences of those who landed on the landing page, but didn't fill it out. I'm creating a custom right. audience of all those who are engaging and watching the video. I'm creating custom audiences of all those, all the leads and I'm excluding them from seeing future ads. The custom audiences right. and retargeting is where the ROI is at. And that's what most people don't, don't do. They don't create custom audiences and they don't retarget because they're, they lack the consistency of it all. So do you recommend, for example, like running three different ads um, and then there's three, three, three different ads like um, cold market, warm market and hard market. Um, so the first one being video views and then from that video views, creating the custom um, yes. The audience. Yes. Itself. Yes. Oh, yeah. For sure. Okay. For sure. For sure. For sure. And then running those three ads cons consistently. Yep. Yep, for sure. For sure. Video views just to just to build the audience and then oh, yeah. and then conversions to capture the lead. Right. So, and then that so, will go to the landing page to the funnel, right? Yep. Yep. It's all about capturing that lead, man. It's all about capturing that lead. And that's, that's why a lot of people don't, they don't, they don't look at it that way. It's like they look at running a Facebook ad to make money today. And, and that, 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 that may sound great, but at the same time, it's not really how it works. Like you have to run these right. ads to build these audiences, to get the pixel more data to get these right. audience, to get the audience familiar with who the hell you are in the first place. The only reason why you even right. know Billy Jean, bro, the only reason why we even know of Billy Jean is because he keeps <laughs> retargeting yeah, us awesome. every freaking day. <laughs> you see a video from him every freaking hour on YouTube, bro. He's yep. retargeting everyone who's watching his shit, which right. which gets people indoctrinated, and mm -hmm. it gets us it gets us thinking psychologically like we know him, like we yeah. trust him. Like right. we want to do business with him because we see him every freaking hour in my damn newsfeed from an ad from him retargeting it. If we just saw one freaking ad, I'd be like, who's that freaking black dude? If right. I never saw another ad again, right? Right. Like, but, but it's because I keep seeing the face. It don't matter who it is. Like that's the retargeting. That's the power of the custom audience. And that's what most don't do. They'll show an ad one time and that's it. Oh, it didn't perform. Okay. Shit. Turn it off. Oh, it was only six days. Turn it off. I don't want to spend no more. It's like, damn, dude, you're, mm -hmm. you're shooting yourself in the foot. You're like, you're, you're stopping three feet before, before you hit the gold, you know? Right. So for lead generations, for, for like a, for any business, it will come to obviously conversions, conversions to a landing page yep. and then uh, capture information there. When it comes to realtors, um, obviously that audience has to be like targeted to the area the, where they're farming. Yep. yep. Um, and the ad, like, would it be just like you said, like an image and then just buy or sell your home? I know you, um, you tell them, you know, to give a seller's guide and a buyer's yes, right. guide. Yes. Um, so I was telling them that, but when it comes to like getting leads, 
like to sell their home with that it would just be an image of a, a nice home sell your home with us or something like that no to tell you the truth what i what i teach on is is having that and that's why that's another reason why i don't really um end up taking on a lot of monthly clients because not everyone's willing to do video that's like one of my criteria right. is that you have to be oh, willing to do video if you're not willing to do video bro right. we might not work out because a, a right. boring ass image of a house bro that ain't gonna do it for you right like i tell them straight up i'm like dude you're mm -hmm. you're 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 listing yeah that's one thing but if you're trying to capture leads and and not even wanting to show your face or not even willing to put yourself out on video it's going to be very hard to get the attention of your local market. Like it just is, it's not going to happen with a boring ass image. So, right. so number one is video. It's video, video, video. If they're willing to do video, then we can go on to step three. That's number one criteria. Number two is the fact that I need you to pick one thing. Are we going to focus on buyer leads or are we going to focus on seller leads? One thing, right. pick one topic. What do we want to start educating your local community on? The pro your local community on. What do we want to educate them on? Yes. The process of buying or the process of selling? Pick one. Right. Because real estate agents, they have all this knowledge, foreclosures, forbearance. They'll teach at a short sale. They oh, yeah. know everything. But when it comes to Facebook advertising and a Facebook ad campaign, Focus on one topic because now Facebook, you give Facebook the ability to go out there and find you one type of person, the type of person who's interested mm. in selling. But if you come on a Facebook and you start putting out a weekly video on all kinds of random shit, it's like, dude, you're confusing the machine. You're, you're, you're talking about different topics when you're confusing it. You're confusing. So focus on one. That, that's, that's first and foremost. And then, and then number two, Get your hands on a buyer guide or a seller guide. So if you do choose selling and you do want to focus on listings and you want more listings, okay, cool. Our objective is to, is to run a weekly video targeting your local area, educating them on the process of selling, what it takes to sell. Maybe renovate your kitchen, maybe, maybe curb appeal, maybe your landscaping, maybe a new roof, maybe adding solar, maybe freaking new paint, maybe renovating your bathroom. All this random shit that you could talk about when it, talk, when it comes to listing someone's home, talk about that in short form video. Give me two minutes. And I tell them all the time, I say, hey, man, if, we were to, if, if, if my wife and I were moving, I tell this to my, to my clients every day. I say, if my wife and I were, were, were thinking about moving, like let's say I'm talking to my, my client freaking Stacy. I say, Stacy, if my wife and I, and, and let's, say, let's say she's a local agent. She's, she's here in San Diego. I'm here in San Diego, and, and, and I'm moving to another part of San Diego. I'll say, Stacy, if my wife and I were moving, if we want to just go up to northern, you know, North County or whatever, and we wanted to move, and I hit you up, and I, I say, hey, Stacy, we're planning on moving. Do you think we can maybe have coffee? We can maybe sit down this weekend, and you can maybe help my wife and I, you know, make this decision do you think we can sit down for coffee and you can kind of go over what you guys could possibly do to help me sell my house stacy bro that's a phone call that's her dream call every real right. estate agent's waiting for their friend to call them <laughs> to ask them right. to sell their house so i tell stacy i said stacy if we sat down this weekend for coffee you will talk my ear off on all the shit you and your broker can do to sell my house Right. You know all that shit. So here's what I need you to do, Stacey. I need you to break this down. I need you to, to, to give me chunks. Give me two minutes. If you have 10 different ways to sell my house, give me each way in two-minute videos. So make 10 videos two minutes long of each way. That's content. That's education. That's value. And at the end of that video, Stacey, here's what I want you to do. I want you to reach out to your broker and get your hands on a seller guide. Some type of brochure, some type of informational PDF that, that goes over everything you're talking about. And that becomes your bait. So as you run a new video ad every week, here's going to be the call to action. You're going to give me two minutes of step one, of tip number one on what it takes to sell at the highest price point to really bring value to the, to the, to the, to the client. But at the end of that two minute video, here's your call to action. Hey guys, and by the way, don't forget to click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free 2021 seller guide. 
In this seller guide, I give you the top 10 tips on selling your home fast at the highest price point possible. Click learn more and download your free copy now. See you on the next video. So now all that person is doing is targeting San Diego, educating people on selling and giving away a free seller guide. That's why Kartra and a landing page is so important because once that person clicks learn more, they go to your landing page to download that seller guide and that lead is captured. So from, from Kartra, what, like, what element do I have to add for them to be able to download something? Very good question. With Kartra, all you're going to do is go into my memberships. Watch, go to your Kartra real quick. You're going to go to Kartra and you're going to simply click on my memberships on the left. And then you're going to click on files right there at the top. That's where you upload the PDF. So that, gotcha. so that person, oh, you got a shitload already, bro. So, so that link, all you do is copy the link, like that link to the right, the little chain, copy right that here. link. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I add that, I add that in the email. So they come to my landing page, they opt in, they go to the thank you page. On that thank you page, it's a video mm-hmm. from that agent telling right. them, hey, thank you so much for downloading my free seller guide. Check your email because I just sent it to you. And right. by the way, if you want to jump on a call now, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. Right. So that's on the right. thank you page. But on the thank you page, it's another one minute video of the agent introducing themselves, thanking that right. person for downloading their seller guide. And, and most importantly, telling, telling them to check their email because that link, I put it in the first email that goes out to them. Gotcha. So then, so when they click, when they click the link from Facebook, they goes to Kartra to a landing page and mm-hmm. then from the landing page, they'll click that link. And when they click it, that's the URL that I copied from the membership files. No, right? no, no. When they opt in. So when they watch, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me share my in. screen. Oh. Let me share okay, my so screen real quick. Let me perfect. know if you could see my screen. I see it now. Okay. So, so here's, here's an example of, of, of like a seller guide. So if they come, if they click on the Facebook ad, Actually, you know what? I think I changed the links. I changed the links. Damn it. I changed the links. Let me, let me grab it from Kartra. Um, nice. When they click on the ad, they click learn more from the actual Facebook ad. It's going to take them straight to this page right here. So let me yeah, pull up. That's another question I had when it comes to running coupons, you know, especially right now with uh, Thanksgiving and all the holidays coming up. Um, do you know, download a coupon so I can send them to a landing page. And when they opt yep. in, they get that email from that email. They get that link to download the PDF, that coupon, and they can show up to the business with that coupon. Right. Yeah. But that, that, that link for that coupon, you want it to be in the first email that is sent. You don't want that link on the thank you page. Right. On the, yeah, exactly. The email. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's in the email. So for example, they see the Facebook ad, they click on it. 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. So again, it all starts with the Facebook ad. In that Mm two-minute video, I'm educating them on what it takes to sell. And at the end of the video, I'm saying, hey, and by the way, if you'd like to download my top 10 tips, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can download your free copy. So right when they enter their name and email, send me your 10 tips. Lead is captured. And right when that email is sent, right when that yellow button is, is submitted, it's clicked, the first email goes out. Hey, Carlos, thank you so much for downloading my top 10 tips to raise the value of your home. My name is David. I'm a listing agent with Remax International. Just wanted to personally introduce myself. But see, that's in the email. And then the link is, to, is in the email to download. But what, 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 and I think I changed the link. Let me see if, if I, I think I changed the link. I don't think this is going to take you to the thank you page, but I can show you the other way. I can show you from Kartra. But let me see if, because I changed. Okay, so it still goes there. Okay, perfect. So look, they enter their name and email. They come to the thank you page. Okay. It's in this thank you page where I have Stacy for, for write these four points down. In fact, I'm recording the call, so I'll just, I'll just send it to you. But there's four mm-hmm. points. Right when they enter their name and email, there's you, four bullet right. points that I have this agent hit on. Number one, thanking them for downloading their seller guide. Number two, right. introducing themselves. Number three, telling them to check their email because you just emailed them a link to download their seller guide. And then number four, click the button below to schedule a call. Right. So, so 
Here's where the magic happens. Some are going to schedule a call right now that's someone interested in selling. Someone's going to some are going to click the call right now, but the majority are not. That's where your email automation needs to be on point. That's where everyone drops the ball. They don't have that right. lead being nurtured. So right. so I need to have 15 emails already preset ready to go out. So right. one email goes out right away with the link to download. But guess what? Tomorrow another email goes out. Hey Los this is Stacy. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know yesterday you downloaded my 2021 seller guide, 10 tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about the importance of renovating your kitchen and how much value that can bring to your overall price point? Here's what I meant by it. And then I'll just have that agent write a, write a couple sentences on, and, and these emails, let's say we have 15 of them already written out. Each email mm -hmm. is touching on the seller guide. Each right. email is talking about page three. Each email is talking about page five, page nine, page 17. So each email, it makes it easy for that person to write out 15 emails because all I'm doing is, is reiterating the damn seller guide. But the objective, the number one objective in each email that's programmed to already drip, the objective is to get them to schedule a call. So on Got email it. number four, Hey, hey, Carlos, just wanted to follow up. This is David. Hey, I remember a few days ago, you downloaded my 2020, 2021 seller guide. Hey, do you remember on page nine when I was talking about the importance of, of, of a new roof and how much value that can bring to your overall price point? Here's what I meant by it. Hey, and by the way, Carlos, if you'd like to jump on a call and really get all of my secret strategies on what I tell clients when it comes to selling their house, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So the number one objective in these 15 emails that are already ready to drip on them over the next 15 days, the number one objective is to have my calendar link in there to get them to click on it. Right. This is where the ROI is at. It's in the lead nurture. I have all these emails going out with people scheduling appointments. These are listing appointments. Right. So running that Facebook ad is one thing, but nurturing the list is another and that's where most drop the ball. They don't have an email autoresponder in place. They're not nurturing these leads. They captured leads freaking three weeks ago and never followed up with them. They called them one time. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you're not, you're not even getting their phone number up front. So what are you going to do? Physically email everybody every day from your Gmail? Mm -hmm. Like, come on, bro. Like yeah, right. systems, systems. We need systems. All it comes down yeah. to. And this, and, and this is what I tell them in closing. This is what you're bringing me aboard for, bro. I'm going to run the Facebook ad. I'm going to manage the Facebook ad. I'm going to run your landing pages. I'm going to manage your landing pages. I'm going to run this email autoresponder. I'm going to manage this email autoresponder. I'm going to make sure that these emails are going out and this list is being nurtured. That's my job. That's why you're bringing me aboard. All I need from you, bro, is for you to drop a weekly video and put it on that business page every week. If mm. you can do that, that's all I need you to do. Every Friday, we go live with a new video. If you can upload a two-minute video every single week as if it was a religion, you and I can crush it. Got it. I don't need you to worry about social media. I don't, I don't need you posting on all these damn platforms. I just need you having the links, links up so your name looks good. All I need right. you to do is one video for your Facebook business page, and that's it. And we could take over your city. Literally, bro. So it ain't about social media marketing. No, dude. You're a local business owner. It's about Facebook marketing. I want to right. run the Facebook ads. I want to manage the landing page software and I want to make sure these emails are being nurtured. That's why you're going to bring me aboard. That's money. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. So you will post it on the, on the Facebook page first and then just uh, promote it. Yes, bro. And then put it there first, make them upload it. Your job is to upload right. a video every week. And, 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 and that video needs to, and you pick a day, tell them to pick a day. Every Tuesday we go live, whatever, pick a day. And so your job every day is to make sure that that video is up there because that video goes live 6 a.m. Right. And so then daily budget will be like 10 days, $10 a day. No, no. To tell you the truth, you can run that at, at, at I mean, yeah, yeah, actually, no, yeah, yeah. Real estate agent, you want to go at least 10 bucks a day. And, and, um, mm -hmm. and, and in the targeting, you're only targeting a local audience. So, so right. you, don't need, you don't need to put in a bunch of detailed targeting. Like you don't right. need to put it's in a just, bunch of interest. Just like just the, just, the, just the city, right? Yeah, just put in the city. Like you don't need to put in people interested in Zillow, people interested in this. Like, because first of all, with housing, with real estate agents, you can't even, a lot of the targeting is out. You can't target zip code. You can't target gender. Like there's so many. Yeah, I out. saw that. So if you're only targeting a local area, like leave it open, leave it wide open and just make sure everyone sees that shit. 
you know, right, right. And, and, and you will target as long as your ad copy is, is, is targeting the right type of person in the text of the ad, the ad copy, you'll find that right mm -hmm. client because you're only focused on a little air, little ass area anyways. Exactly. You know, so hopefully that made sense, bro. No, that's, that's money, bro. And that's definitely like, like what overall, that's just amazing. Cause that was the biggest thing I had. Like, okay, I'm already have the funnel. I already have the email sequence. Like I already have everything, but where, where am I going to give them that coupon? Or, you know, in this case, um, it's the, the seller's guide, but then automatically you put them into that email sequence and it's just nurturing them. It's just, it's your, your, you're staying on top of their mind. So that's overall, that's what we want. So yes, bro. And, and next level stuff is, is I tell them in the emails, exactly. I want you to put a video. So, right. so in each email, as you get the emails, and that's what these, that's what these, these are right here. Look, e sequence number one, sequence two, sequence three. So what I have, what I have clients do is I say, okay, not only are they going to download a seller guide and automatically be in your email sequence, right. not only are emails going to start dripping on them every day, but right. in these emails, I want you to go a step further and make a video. Mm -hmm. so 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 if you're talking about if you're talking about 10 tips okay we're gonna set up 10 emails over the next 10 days or every other day whatever you want to do every day or, or every other day whatever but every day for the next 10 days these emails are based on talking about tip number one tip number two tip number three and again the objective is to have a link to your calendar so people can schedule a call but here's what i want you to do for next level shit stacy in each email, we're talking about a different tip, right? Your overall seller guide is 10 tips to raise the value of your home. In each email, I want you to go a step further, and I want you to do a 60-second video on that tip. Mm. So when I open up your email and I click on it, it's taking me to a Karcher page where it's you on video talking about tip one. Right. Email number two, I open up email number two, I click on it, boom, it's you on video talking about step two. Right. That's getting in their face even more. That gets people that they're like, holy shit, this is a real person. I see her like that. That's the thing about video, bro. Like it don't matter what you look like, bro. It's the fact that people are visually seeing your mechanics and their, your characteristics and your flaws and your blonde hair and your muscular figure. Like the, the your, your freaking printer in the background, the, the, the picture frame on the wall, like all that shit, bro. It hits us psychologically where we automatically yeah, feel like we can relate to them. Video. Right. I agree. So, so unless you're doing that, then you better be a very good copywriter and you're writing really good text in your emails to explain right. what the hell you're trying to explain. But most people are not right. copywriters. So get out of your freaking bubble and do a damn video. Like, you know, like I, and that's the thing, man, not, you're going to find people that mo you're going to find most that are not comfortable with video. And that's where another part of convincing has to come in where it's like, shit, man, I'm going to, convince you where you need to do video like get over it like and even when you're nervous right. and people could tell that you're nervous and you're stuttering i'm telling you man people still relate to that like you don't have to be perfect it has nothing to do with how you look like i don't give a shit about none of that bro like you don't need to edit right. it it doesn't need to be perfect produced video hollywood blockbuster video no man in fact it has to be opposite right you know like so sure. and, and you know what's so crazy is that who the person who got me into video because I knew that it took nothing that it didn't take anything fancy was Ty Lopez. Ty wow. Lopez came onto the scene doing videos on his cell phone, handshaking, walking around, nothing fancy at all, bro. When I learned him in 2016, I'm like, holy shit, I can do it. If you go to all my beginning videos on YouTube, it's me holding the cell phone, walking, walking to the park or something copying Ty oh, wow. Lopez. Cause I'm like, holy shit, if that guy can do this, I can do that. Like I can keep it that simple. I don't know shit about editing. I don't know shit about making video fancy, but I could pull out my phone and just talk some shit. Like I could do that. Right. And when I started mm -hmm. seeing him become successful, it, 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 I'm like, damn dude, like anybody can do this. But, but the problem yeah. is, especially with real estate agents, <laughs> the problem with real estate agents is they all think they have to look fancy. They all think sure. they need to pull up in the Bentley. They all think they need right. to have their Louis Vuitton bag on them. They all want to look pretty. Right. Yeah. And I have to dumb them down all the time. I'm like, no, dude, like you need to look opposite. Like you, you need to relate to the audience. Right. 
unless right. you're dealing with multi-million dollar clients. If you're selling million dollar properties, okay, shit, look your best because you're attracting the executive or the CEO and you're selling million dollar properties. But if you're selling $300,000 properties, your average client works at freaking Home Depot. <laughs> right. Like dumb it down. Stop trying to look so good in your video. Like you don't need to dumb it down. That's money. Yeah. You know? So I don't know if you have a ton more shit, bro, but my battery is about to die. You're um, good, bro. But, that was but, but whatever else you have, bro, we can always chat again tomorrow. So go back to my calendar yeah. anytime and we'll, we'll chop it up more tomorrow. If, if you have a lot more shit to go over. Yeah. And that's, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do it next time. Um, yeah. And other things I wanted to ask you, but yeah, that's, that's more than enough, bro. I really appreciate it. Heck yeah, brother. Set up a hey, schedule a call anytime. Man. I like talking to you. I like, I like giving you my advice, bro. You're, you're, you're the, you're the next one up. So, so use me, bro. leverage me, right? Anything I can do for you, let me know. All right, brother. Schedule Thank anytime. You, All right, bye-bye. Later, man. Bye.